Hi, this is Bill with Galveston Cruise Reviews. Thanks for joining me. I wanted to talk today for just a few minutes about the perks that come with a junior suite on Royal Caribbean. A junior suite is a weird mashup of a regular suite with a balcony cabin, and I want to talk about how it's close to each of those in different ways. As we do it, we're going to walk through the process from the time that you show up to board all the way until after you get off the ship so you can compare what the benefits are. So let's start with embarkation day for your cruise ship. When you go to the pier, your boarding pass is going to say suite on it. What that means is that you get to go through, and this will change a little bit, right, depending on exactly which port you're showing up at, but that means you'll get to go through shorter lines for security, you'll get to go through shorter lines for check-in, you'll typically be able to wait with the other suite passengers, although that's not that big a deal, and that's great. On embarkation day, having a junior suite functions like having any other suite. Once you board the ship, things haven't changed just yet. Because once you board the ship, you'll go in and you'll have a much larger room. Now, the specifics on what your room looks like will change depending on what exact ship that you're on. For that matter, the benefits will change a little bit depending on which ship you're on. But the same things are basically true regardless. You've got a bigger room. Also, junior suites, because their suites come with a bathtub. I can't tell you what a big advantage that is, particularly if you're traveling with kids. If you're in a regular balcony cabin or an interior in ocean view, your bathroom is going to be little bitty. And if you're a bigger guy like me, you squeeze in those showers, it's tight, right? Because there's not a lot of space. So if you're in a junior suite, you have a full tub, you got plenty of room to move around in the bathroom, that's great. Because you've got a bigger room, you also will generally have a bigger balcony. So, so far so good, a junior suite it's kind of like a suite, a, a smaller one, but a suite. You get to board early and you've got a bigger room with a little bit upgrade of amenities, particularly the bathtub. However, from there, the distinctions start to matter and the, the junior suite starts to look a lot more like a balcony cabin. For example, on almost every ship in the fleet, if you've got a regular suite, you've got access to a concierge club or a suite lounge. And when you're there, there will be a concierge present. They'll have evening drink offerings. They'll have evening canapes and other snacks. If you're in a junior suite, you don't get to go into that room. That means there's, there's a special area of the ship you don't have access to, and that becomes a particular issue if you need help because you need to go join the regular line at guest services just like every other guest on the ship. Now, that may not be a deciding factor for you, but if it is, know that that's not a perk that comes with a junior suite. You have to have at least a grand suite. On Oasis class ships, the very largest of the ships, if you have a junior suite, you'll have access to Coastal Kitchen, one of the nice sweet restaurants on board, but you'll only have it at dinner, right? You won't be, and it will be on space available, so you may or may not be able to get in. Some other things on Freedom class ships, like the Liberty of the Seas, you've got reserved seating by the pool if you're in a regular suite. That doesn't happen if you're in a junior suite. On most ships, there's reserved seating at shows if you're in a regular suite. And that doesn't happen if you're in a junior suite. So when you board, a junior suite functions like a suite. When you get to your cabin, it's very much like a small suite. It's a bigger, nicer room with a lot of the amenities that come with a suite. Once you're roaming around the ship, though, you lose most of the perks which come with a regular ship. Now, there is one last element, and that's what happens when you get off the ship. You can certainly get the priority debarkation, but that's not what I'm talking about. Once you get off the ship and you log into your Crown and Anchor account, you'll notice that you have double cruise points. That's great. If you're trying to get up to a higher tier in the Crown and Anchor program, program um, Royal Caribbean's loyalty program, if you're on a seven-night cruise and you're in a junior suite, you will get a four, you'll get 14 points rather than seven, and that'll help you advance up the tiers much more quickly. So if you're wondering about the suite perks on Royal Caribbean for a junior suite, you're kind of sort of in a balcony cabin, and you're kind of sort of in a suite, and it depends on which particular um, perk you're looking at. If I haven't answered your question in this video, please comment in the comment sections below. I'd be delighted to get on there and answer your questions as best I can with whatever I know. If you've had an experience in your junior suite, do the same thing. Put those comments there. I and all, all of our other viewers would be delighted to read that. And thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you will um, like this video. I hope that you'll subscribe to Galveston Cruise Reviews. And regardless, happy sailing.